Hey y'all, Andy here with Diving.com. We have another rundown roundup. This time we're taking a look at knives. Knives aren't on the top of the list for a lot of divers. When they first start diving, it's just one more piece of equipment they have to manage. But once you get set up, you're established, you have all your gear, it's a good idea to have a good knife with you. You never know when you're gonna need it, whether you're underwater or on the boat. We've got knives that run the gamut here. We've got folding blades, fixed blades, sharp tip, blunt tip. We've even got some that look like a scissors. We've got line cutters and we've got a couple knives that are going to make Jim Bowie and John Rambo look a little jealous. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's dive in. So why even carry a knife in the first place? Despite what the movies have taught us, it is not to fight off sharks and it is not to fight the terrorists underwater and cut their regulator hose. The main reason you're going to want to carry a knife is for entanglements. And that's going to depend a lot of where you're diving. Out here in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of North Carolina, our biggest entanglement hazard is fishing lines. We dive on the wrecks because fish love being in the wrecks. It's the same reason fishing boats go there too. And as cognizant as they try to be of what they're doing every so often, the line gets cut and gets snagged. And we do our best to cut those and bring them up with us. For me out here, all I carry, I carry a little easy cut and a little three inch knife with the flat blade. You can see mine's starting to rust out. You don't have to be something very expensive, uh, bust your bank with it. I like this because I can get it out with one hand, one thumb push. So it's going to depend on what your comfort level is, what you're doing, where you're diving. Some places won't even let you dive with the knife. So make sure you check those regulations before you jump in the water. So how are we going to test these knives? We're going to run them through a couple steps. First, and for me, the most important factor is accessibility. How easy can you get it out of the sheath? How easy can you unfold it? It doesn't matter how sharp your knife is. It doesn't matter what brand it is. Any of that doesn't matter if you can't get it out and get it ready to do the job that you have it for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it in some cut safe gloves, some three mil gloves, and we're even gonna try it in some seven mil gloves. Now, just as important as getting it out of the sheath, we wanna be able to get it back in the sheath. You spend a lot of money on these knives and if it won't stay secure, you might lose it and we don't want that to happen. So we're testing that way. Next, we're gonna test the cutting strength. We're gonna use some traditional 550 cord in place of fishing line, uh, just for color uh, concerns. Fishing line is really clear, we're not gonna be able to see it. This is just as strong, if not stronger than fishing line. If it can cut this and cut just about anything this thick. And then we're also going to use some nylon rope. This is a dock rope that you might find on boats anywhere around water. Uh, you might find it underwater, but the most important thing with this is if something gets tangled on the boat somewhere, uh, some falls off, the anchor falls off and you got an anchor line wrapped, you might have to cut some of this stuff. So we're going to test it on this thick half inch uh, nylon rope. So some of the constraints and the procedures that we worked with while we're doing this now, it's a change from a couple different things. We're not going to go get in the pool with this. I know you guys like to see me in the pool. We're not going to get in the pool. There's nothing that we can do in the pool that we can't do right here at the workbench. It's uh, going to be a lot clearer pictures. And this way, we're not leaving any pieces of rope or nylon or anything floating around the pool. We don't want to do that to them. Uh, number two, I'm not wearing any of these knives. I'm not going to put on a BC and hook it to my BC. I'm not going to attach them to my calf. I don't dive with a knife on my calf. So if I hooked one to my calf and I said, man, this knife's hard to get to, that's be a disservice to it. So we're judging everything equal right here on top of the workbench. We're going from there. Let's look at the knives that made the top of our lists. Our choice for the best fixed blade and actually the best overall knife we tested is the Benchmade H2O. This is a great knife. We really, really loved it. The cutting capabilities are unmatched and the size is perfect. The sheath comes with a couple sections where you can attach it either on your calf or you can attach it to a BC. It's not too big to have it on your BC or on a belt, but it's not too small to put on your calf. Great sharp straight edge. The serrated section is super sharp. And to be quite honest, this is the best line cutter that's attached to a knife we tested. We really like the flat end. It can be worked as a pry point and it can be worked as a screwdriver. The grip is super, super comfortable. It's got the raised sections to where your hands will connect to it great underwater. You're not gonna be disappointed with this knife. It costs a little bit more than some of the knives on our section, but with Benchmade, you're paying for quality. Our pick for the best folding knife 
is the Spyderco Salt 2. We really, really like this knife, all around great knife. We love the size of it, it fits great in your hand, small enough to clip anywhere on your BC, clip it to a D-ring. The uh, clip makes easy access. We really like the sheep's foot design, makes it easy to see where you're cutting. We went with the Salt 2 because it has the straight edge on here. Spider Co. you can get a lot of the knives with the spider edge, which is serrated. We just found during our cutting testing and all the different operations that that straight edge is gonna work a little bit better. We also really, really like the closing mechanism on this, the push down unlocking. It makes it to where you're not reaching across the blade as you close it while you're underwater trying to manage all the other stuff. Spyderco does run a few dollars more than other brands that we tested, but with Spyderco you're definitely getting high quality. This may be the last dive knife you ever have to purchase. Our pick for the best high-end knife is the Benchmade Undercurrent. This is the most expensive nice knife we tested, but don't let that fool you. The quality is there too. This thing isn't just expensive, it's super, super impressive. The straight edge along here and the straighted edge both cut through the 550 cord and the nylon like butter. Great, great comfortable grip. You can hold on to this and not lose it whether you're diving barehanded or you have those thick seven mil gloves. This is a bigger knife than I generally dive with. But let me tell you, I'm so impressed with the quality of this that I would learn how to dive with the knife at my calf just to be able to use this. Great, great sheath. You can see the locking mechanism here. Locks in, great, it's not going anywhere. Multiple, multiple uses, you can get use out of this on the boat, on the dock, and underwater. Great, great dive knife, you will not be disappointed. Our pick for the best mid-range knife is the Akona Talon. We really, really like this knife. It's not huge, but it's not small. Primarily used on the calf. Would be really, really great down there. We really, really like the handle. This ergonomic handle makes it really comfortable and easy to hold and easy to use while you're cutting. The, the sharp straight edge is super, super sharp. Great to use. I was a little bit less than impressed with the straighted edge, but it still worked well. You're, it's gonna be about midway through. Uh, you get what you pay for. We really, really like the locking mechanism on this. You can hear it click and you can feel it. Another good thing about this is it's not just uh, one-handed. You can switch it around. If you're left-handed, it's ambidextrous. You can put it on either calf and it'll work. It has the stainless steel knob on the bottom that seconds as a tank banger, get your buddy's attention and dive that way. Really, really comfortable knife, not too expensive. Uh, made a 420 steel, it's gonna last you forever. Great, solid knife, strong knife. Our pick for best budget knife is the Siak Tajaman. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Siak, let me know. Uh, I couldn't find it anywhere looking up. Uh, Tajaman is what we think it is. Great, great knife. We really, really like the one piece design. This thing is indestructible. You can't break it, you can't rust it, you can't destroy it. This thing's gonna last you forever. It's got the nice little uh, finger grips there so your fingers aren't gonna slide. Sh super sharp uh, straight edge, super sharp serrated edge. Got a nice, nice sharp point. The thing's not going anywhere. This thing's gonna last you forever. It's a great uh, knife to have if you're first starting out. It's a great second knife to have because the one thing I don't like about it is the, the sheath that it comes in. This is kind of hard to get the knife back in, especially trying to shove it down there one-handed, especially as sharp as that is. We don't want that bouncing off of anything important. Uh, so outside of that, this is a great, great knife all around. We really, really like it. It's light enough that you can attach it to a BC. It's long enough though that you could wear it on a calf if you want to. The good thing is it's super, super affordable. Any diver can afford this, have it with you. It's gonna save some time and some money on your trips. We actually have two picks for the travel compact category. We went with the bases that you're gonna take these traveling and you want them small. So we came up with two. The first is the Benchmade Intersect. Great, great little knife really really sharp edge this is a great great knife and uh promate titanium sharp tip another sharp sharp great great knife we went with both of these because we decided if you're traveling you're taking your bc you probably want something just attached to it or you want something small enough to throw in your bag if you're not taking the bc we picked two because the bench made is pretty expensive and we know how hard it is to travel these being so small might get lost by the airline we're not saying that they don't know how to do their jobs. Just that stuff happens like that sometime. And so in that case, you can take the Promate. Great, great knife. 
great to keep on your BC. This also comes with the uh, added knob on there to act as a tank banger. Both of them have holes, eyelets, where you can put a drawstring on here. This one already has one. You can add it to this. The ProMate actually locks a little bit better. It has that click and that nice audible sound to it, that feel to it. Whereas the Benchmade, the Intersect, you have to snap it. And I know traveling, you don't want to take a super expensive piece of equipment and then maybe lose it because you can't get it back in. Can't go wrong with either of them. Depends on what you want. Both of them are going to work great. One just costs a little bit less than the other. You won't be unhappy with either. Give them both a try. Our pick for the most durable knife is the Tektite Tecna. This thing is made of solid stainless steel, one piece design, super thick and rigid. It's not breaking on anything. It's not giving up on any dive you have. The handle isn't the most comfortable. It's not ergonomically designed. That's not the, the goal of this. The goal of this is to be super strong and super sharp along the straight edge. I really, really like the, the flat tip. Can be used as a pry bar, can be used as a screwdriver. Great knife to have, especially if you're doing a lot of dirty work underwater. The sheath is super strong, comes with two, an orange one and a black one. Small enough you can clip to a BC in a D-ring, put it on your, your uh, BC belt. You could probably put it at your calf, I probably wouldn't recommend that, but that's up to you. I like the single thumb opening on the sheath, it doesn't go anywhere, but if you just flop that up, it's coming out. Again, super sharp, easy to use, super strong, super durable. This thing's gonna last you a lifetime. Now our pick for line cutter is the Easy Cut Trilobite. I love these. I try to get every single one of my students when they're done with class to buy one of these. It's a great thing to have on hand. I love it that it's ambidextrous. It's got knives or cutting tools on both sides. Cuts through that 550 cord like butter. But you know what? I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the dive right because this is no difference. It's only one side has the nice little thumb hole or the finger hole. This thing's gonna cut great too. I gotta be honest, the only, and they cost the same too. They're, they're virtually uh, indistinguishable. The only reason me, personal preference, gave the edge to the easy cut is because the dive right only has Velcro on one side of the pull tab. So there, if it's not gonna stick, you're in a dark place, a place where you're not being able to see very well, you might stick it in backwards. This has to go in this way. Whereas with the easy cut, it can go in either way because it's got that Velcro on both sides. Absolutely hardly any difference. That's the one choice. You won't be disappointed with either. They're both gonna cut lines. They're both gonna cut small ropes. Put it on your computer, put it on your belt, put it on your BC, and then just have it there all the time. It's a great backup tool. I use my Easy Cut more than my personal knife all the time. It's the, one of the best inventions on the market are these Easy Cuts to have with you. Our pick for the most versatile, most optional use knife is the Fog Cutter Mini from XS Scuba. We really, really like this. It has a bunch of great options on it. Sharp serrated edge, sharp straight edge, line cutter, flat head to screw, uh, uses a screwdriver or pry bar, comes as a set of scissors. These things cut through that half inch nylon like nothing. In here, you can't really see it, maybe you can. It's like a little pipe grip, uh, a little set of pliers. If you're ever underwater, you need a set of pliers. This beat out his big brother, just the, the original Fog Cutter X, just because this is a little bit smaller and it was actually a little bit sharper. I'm sure the original X, uh, Fog Cutter X, will be just as sharp as this if you take a, a grinding stone to it. But I, again, I really like the flat tip. I like the compact size and I like the sheath. This is locked in there. Just a quick finger push and it's out. This also comes with an optional uh, hose mounting bracket. You can put it on your inflator hose. You can put it on your SPG. There's a lot of different places you can mount this versus the uh, full size one. Great, great knife, affordable, made from 440 steel. It's not gonna rust out and leave you hope, wishing you had another piece of uh, cutting instrument with you. Great knife, you're not gonna be disappointed with this. As scuba divers, we're always looking for a way to save a buck, a way to make this expensive endeavor a little bit less costly. 
That's why we always look for things that serve as dual purpose uh, items. We love computers that we can wear as a watch all day that justify spending that money. So this is a new little section we came up with for knives. This is the best daily use knife. It's the Spyderco Native 5. I love this. This thing will be in my pocket every single day, clipped on, ready to use all day. I carry a knife. A lot of people carry a knife. What I like about that is now I've got a knife that I can use all day long, but I can take diving. It's thing stainless steel, great locking mechanism, straighted edge. It's got the raised textured feeling on the handle. It means you can uh, carry it without losing it underwater. Great, great clip. Great, great knife from uh, Spyderco. Love the brand, love the company. Again, the, now I've spent all this money on this knife, I'm gonna use it every day, and now I can take it diving with me too. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it, we hope you learned something. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if you have any ideas about better knives, other knives out there, and we can add those on. When you're done watching these videos, head on over to diving.com. Check out the full review of all these knives, other scuba equipment, and a whole bunch of outdoor equipment. Till next time, happy bubbles.